Hugh, 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 Hugh. Hugh Grant, you're back. Are you excited? Yes, I am. Um, tell me what sport means to you. I know you're a big sports fan. What sports do you like playing and what sports do you like watching? Well, uh, let's see now. I mean, I'm going through a big tennis uh, obsession at the moment. I was a golf addict for many years. I poured 12 years of my life down the golf drain. <laughs> And then uh, my wife rescued me. She's a tennis player. Okay. So now I'm yeah, mad about tennis. But I can barely move. But she's really good and I'm old. Um, Sport Unites Us is the theme. I know you're a big fan of everything that, that Laureus does and has done over the years. Why do you think sport has such an impact in people's lives? Um, I, think it's, I think Nelson Mandela probably had that right. It does have strange powers. Um, and, you know, you sometimes see sort of lost kids. I look at my own kids and think, I really hope they get into sport, just because it's, it's such a wonderful focus in life. You know, apart from being healthy and all the rest of it, it teaches you uh, value of teamwork, discipline, all those things. Um, and companionship, you know, in a fractured world. I can't imagine a man like you gets very nervous at events like this, but is there any sports stars in particular you might see tonight and be a little bit starstruck? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I just saw a few in the lobby of the hotel. I was very starstruck. Uh, Chris Hoy, that? Emerson oh, yeah. Fittipaldi. Mm -hmm. Names to conjure with. Absolutely. Yeah. You can't, I keep having to remember that you've got to call Chris Sir Chris now. It's a bit odd, isn't it? Oh, you do, yes. yes I must I remember that. Too. Thank you so much for your time. Good luck tonight. All right, thanks a lot. Uh, Manuela, welcome to Berlin. First and foremost, uh, you're on time. Everyone yeah. else seems a bit late. You're a good timekeeper then. I'm from Switzerland, I kind of have to. So. <laughs> I would have thought everyone being an athlete has to be on time for training, but these guys just turn up when they want, don't they, when it's red carpet? Well, I think the traffic is pretty bad, so okay. that's a bit of an excuse, I guess. Uh, do you like these kind of events? Do you like dressing up and uh, mingling with the other guys in your sports? It is a very special day and a very special evening. Um, it's really fun once or twice a year, but um, I prefer my more comfortable clothes for <laughs> training. So, uh, but it but it is a special a special event. Yeah. You've been training hard and you've had a lot of success this year. So much so, you're recognised tonight. You're a nominee. What does it feel like to be a nominee for the Laureus World Sports Awards? First and foremost. Wow, when I found out that I was one uh, of the nominees, uh, alongside all these really great and strong athletes, I really, it, it was just, um, it was so touching and emotional also, because this is really like a big deal. So it's a great recognition of my sport and it's great to be here and I'm very proud. Um, yeah, I um, feel very honored. Have you prepared a speech in case it is you? <sighs> That's not my thing, actually. I'm not, I'm not a good speaker. I'm not a person of big words and long words, but... Um, you know, I think I'll just figure something out if it should happen, so... I'm sure it'll be fine. Th uh, listen, enjoy the evening. Thank you for joining us. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, Alice Ty, welcome to Berlin. Uh, you're on time. Well done. That's the first thing. Yeah, thank you. It's you not keep in time. No. It's... Okay. Oh, how come you're here so early? Who brought you? Um, on my, we get like schedules, and it said that my arrival time was 20 to 5. Wow. So I thought I was late, but apparently I'm actually, I've done well for once. You have done well. You look beautiful. Thank you very it's much. It's super cool. You've gone for the Doc Martens as well. Was that all part of the plan? No, no. I didn't know that was a dress code. <laughs> no, so I just. Um, I can't wear heels anyway to events and I find shoe shopping a struggle so I was like, yeah, I'm just going to wear docks um, <laughs> but apparently it fits the theme so you know. You, it's worked out perfectly yeah. actually. Um, congratulations on the nomination this evening. Thank you. What's that mean to you? It's crazy, it's still, i am not processed it yet because um, obviously it would make me one of the top six para-athletes across all sports and both genders 
which is insane because I'm still like 12 year old Alice who just nips to the pool every now and then to swim. Um, so yeah, I think, I don't think it'll ever kind of sink in. It's just it just blows my mind. I was going to say, you've done so much at such an early age, haven't you? And there's so much more to do. And yeah. um, I know that you, know, you struggled with the sport a little bit at the start and then you found music, the ukulele, which helped you say control the emotions. Have you brought the ukulele to Berlin? Is it still? Um, I haven't brought it, unfortunately. But, it is something you use a lot. Yeah, I play a lot of instruments um, and I actually I play in a band, I play guitar, which is great fun. And it's just a nice kind of side thing from swimming and it's like, it's just a great kind of release of any stress because no one's really judging, it's just a bit of fun with my mates and yeah. I heard a rumour that you like to do Strictly Come Dancing, but I've had a look at the schedule and you're going to struggle with the Paralympics. Yeah. That's going to have to wait. Uh, Tokyo, how are you feeling about it? What are your thoughts? How's the form going in there? Yeah, I'm really excited for Tokyo. I actually trained with some of the youth German para swimmers this morning. Did you? Yeah, which was lovely. Um, and it's really cool because one of the girls, she was apparently she was a massive fan. And that was, I can't get over that. That was really cool. But I felt honoured to train with them and that they let me kind of share that pool. Um, I'm like a sporting geek walking around the place and seeing these amazing names and it must be amazing. It's incredible now that's happening to you. People are recognising yeah. your achievements, which is what it's all about for you, isn't it? Yeah, for sure. I think as well because it happens too often and I keep hearing it, stories about children who have disabilities and they really struggle to find themselves and it's because mainly they don't have any role models who they can relate to and I really think just developing the Paralympic movement is such an important thing you know because hopefully one day people will grow up and they'll be thinking you know what so and so is like me and look what they've achieved and so and so's done this and they'll know that there aren't any limits even though they've got disability listen all the very best in tokyo but for Thank now you. good luck this evening thanks got a speech prepared if you will <laughs> no. i think you'll be fine i think i might cry will you i, I well, hope not crying's good for the telly isn't it so. yeah but it's not it's not good for makeup <laughs> And I'm not good enough to redo it, so like... You'll be fine. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, Alice. Thank you. Uh, oh my goodness, it's like the skate park has come to the red carpet. Uh, we're surrounded by very cool people. Also, I feel like I've got the fashion completely wrong now because you guys are uber cool. Uh, Ria, so if I start with you, can I ask you a little bit about uh, the event with Tony Hawk yesterday? What it was like? How was it? Ah, então eu amei porque sempre foi um sonho conhecer Tony Hawk porque é a maior lenda do skate e de estar perto de todo mundo é sempre sempre foi um sonho. Yes. Do I speak in the mic? Yes. Yes, I loved it because it was my the biggest dream ever to meet Tony Hawk personally, in person. And it was great being with people together in the skate park. Lovely stuff. And you didn't leave a skateboard somewhere for your fans to find it. I know you sometimes do that on Instagram. By the way, this little man over here is Ocean. He's just going to do some tricks in a minute. His big sister is Sky Brown. Sky, it's lovely to have you here. What's it been like? Is this, have you been to these kind of events before? Well, I have been to awards before but not like this big okay. so it's really cool it's big i'm like i'm freaking out with the amount <laughs> of sports stars here um i'd imagine tony hawk is a hero of yours as well is he yes he is i mean amazing like i really think he's really cool because i think he shows that age doesn't matter Even, yeah well he's not like really old i hope he's you didn't say that to him sky you know he's not that old <laughs> no he's not super old i just think it's cool that he shows that i don't know because he still does like 900s. I yeah. think it's quite a bit. Okay, I don't know what that is, but it sounds very impressive. <laughs> I, I'd imagine that's a few times round. Um, I think it's three times around? 900? Three time, yeah, 900. Let's go with that. Let's yeah. go with that for the sake of yeah, the time and me not knowing. Um, Yenny, you were there yesterday as well. It's pretty incredible to see the generations of skateboarders coming together. The whole theme of this is Sport Unites Us. Can you give us an idea what it was like yesterday at the skate park? Yeah. Uh, it was cool to teach some kids some uh, skate stuff, like they're learning kick flips or all you're just uh, skating down a stair or something. It was super fun with all those kids. Brilliant. Look, it's, it all, it's good to see you all tonight. Good luck. I know you're nominated tonight, Ray, so good luck tonight. Uh, would you like to say anything, Ocean? Excellent. He does his talking on the board, I think. Can you do a little trick before you go? Is that right? I'll take these for, for safety in general. 
So here we go. This is Race LAL, Sky Brown. Come on. Come on, Ocean. You get involved in well as well. Three, two, one. Oh, yeah, that's superb. Uh, Victoria, nice to see you in Berlin. You look lovely. Oh, thank you very much. Are you wearing trainers? I'm not, actually. Oh. Mainly because this dress is too long, I'd probably trip over it, and that's I, embarrassing. I can see the pose. You're getting good at this posing at oh. the carpet events. I've seen it. It's like blue steel. Um, did you know the theme was uber cool? Uber cool, which is yeah. something I am totally not. You are uber cool. No! A, a lot of people didn't know there was a theme, but have seemed to have pulled it off anyway. Oh. Um, you're just enjoying tonight? I am. I'm enjoying tonight. Um, it's a great event to come to, I think. Being in the presence of so many incredible athletes and celebrating the, the good that sport can do. And I work with a few charities supported by Laureus, and they're very close to my heart, so I'm a big fan of this event. I was just going to say that. I know you work closely with Laureus, and I suppose the theme for this weekend is sporting united people. Mm. How have you seen that with the projects that you visited? Well, one of the, uh, the projects I work with is the Wave Project. So surfing is a relatively new sport for me, but an incredible community. Like communities of surfers are very inclusive. It's not necessarily about performance. It's about just doing the best you can on the day you go out on the wave. Um, and it's very much dictated by nature and totally different to my sporting background as a professional. So I love the fact that I can be involved with a new sport, a new community and welcome people into that. I know what you're like though when you get involved with a new sport, whether it's horse riding or surfing. Surfing now, of course, is in the... Yes, how cool so is you, that? Are you ready to break an exclusive for us tonight? <laughs> no, okay. honestly, I am like barely... I, I mean, I'd say I was a novice still, very much you so. You stand on the board. Yeah, I can stand. I, guess, can I can pop up. Oh, no, oh, you can pop up. Lovely. I won't ask you to do that in that dress. Yeah. No. Have a great night. Thanks Thank for chatting you. to us. You too. Tony Hawk, a pleasure to see you in Berlin. First and foremost, Sky Brown was just here and said, um, for your age, your 900's not bad. Oh, well, that's that. nice. All right. <laughs> for her age, her McTwist is not bad. How's that? <laughs> I know you had a fun day yesterday. What was it like? And of course, there was an important message behind it. Uh, it was really fun. We, we got to, uh, we went to a skate park here, got to see some of the kids uh, that are part of the High Five program where they're taking refugees and, and introducing them to skateboarding and, and snowboarding and surfing and things like that and showing them that they have the power to believe in themselves and have a sense of self-confidence that I believe skateboarding can provide. Um, there were also some members from Skatistan, which is a program of education and skateboarding in Afghanistan, Cambodia, and South Africa. I'm a board member, and there's a documentary about some girls in Afghanistan that just won the Oscar last week. Wow. Uh, called uh, Learning to Skateboard in a War Zone. 
Oh my goodness. It's like you're the guy I didn't like with skateboarding. It, and it must have been a very proud moment for you as well yesterday with the new generation of stars coming through. Uh, it was. It's exciting. I mean, just the, the idea that, that girls like Raisa and Sky, who come from very different backgrounds, are, are on their way to becoming world champions and because of their skills. You know, it's nothing else. You can't, you can't fake skateboarding. Yeah. So, yeah, it's all about do you walk the walk, and they definitely walk the walk. And uh, it's exciting to think of a whole new generation that will be inspired by them. And I know Berlin is actually a place that's quite close to your heart. Nice to be back here. I know on your social media this week you were posting pictures of jumping the wall back in the yeah. day. Yeah, I was here uh, about 10 years ago doing some video game promotions, and I got the opportunity to ollie over the wall, and um, I took it. It was yeah. awesome, and uh, I love it. It's a beautiful city. It's a great, it's a great city to host this event, and I'm um, just happy to be back. Thank you for your time, Tony. Have yeah. a great night. Thank you. So one of the very special awards this evening is the Sport for Good Award. Um, I think you already know that you've won the award, don't you, Mohammed? Yes. It was a special moment yesterday uh, in a press conference at the Mercedes-Benz Center. Uh, first of all, your reaction to being in Berlin around all these amazing sports stars? Um, I think um, it's definitely surreal. Um, you know, there's a lot of legends, and, like everywhere you go you see, and the city has so much history that it's fantastic and, you know, most people dream about coming to Berlin, so I'm very um, excited and humbled to be here. Have you had a good tour guide in Maria? Have you had a look around the city? Yes, we did. We went to uh, some museums, uh, went to the Burger, and we went to a lot of different places. Brilliant. Um, listen, let's talk about the project, um, mm -hmm. South Bronx United. Um, it's an incredible story, and a story that's inspired by sports. Can you tell us a bit more about it? Okay. Well, you're getting a nod for that one. You're on for that one. You have to tell us about it. She's giving you the nod. She's like, you're on. Tell you Can about... you tell us a bit about the uh, program, South Bronx United? Okay, yeah, so South Bronx United is a non-profit organization that support immigrant, most like, yeah, mostly immigrant student, immigrant people who migrated to the Bronx. And, you know, as you know, South Bronx is one of the, if it is the lowest income, the lowest income district in the United States of America. So um, it's a program that helped kids, you know, um, fit into the society, help them with soccer, education, immigration services, legal services, and, and you know, it's a very great program to have. Absolutely, and it is. It's been, sport has been the inspiration, uh, and it's given people a chance in life through the program. Isn't that right? Yeah, absolutely. I think I um, started the organization when I was a teacher in the South Bronx and was motivated seeing young people that I was teaching that didn't have the opportunity to play. There was nowhere... No soccer team, there was lack of after school athletic opportunities. And that's where the idea for South Bronx United first came from. And now we're working with about 1,200 uh, boys and girls in, in New York City um, to, to help them with their dreams. It's a superb program. Thank you for joining us tonight. Enjoy the ceremony. Thank you. And wave Thank you. the scarf high. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thanks Thank so you. much. Thank you. Daniel, uh, I suppose you're part of the family now with Laureus. You've been involved over the last couple of years or so. It's the third time. Remember, the first time was in uh, Malaysia, in Kuala Lumpur. And the second time, last time, was in Berlin, yeah. where I had the honor to give the uh, Lifetime Award to Niki Lauda, yeah. which was a very touching 
great moment. So that was just after the release of Rush, wasn't yes. it? Yes. So um, that must have been quite a surreal moment because you would have studied him, I'd imagine, for a long yes. time. And then they it was a wonderful way to finish that whole experience because we'd spent so much time together from the beginning to the end. I mean, uh, thanks to his commitment and support, uh, I think I was able to do a good job because he was willing to open up towards me and and um, and then for me personally it was a great experience because uh, I did not only get to meet him but he also introduced me to other drivers present ones former ones he uh, flew me to Sao Paulo in his own private jet I mean it's an incredible experience oh, I'm jealous now stop so yeah 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 no no it was it was great just quickly with motor racing Lewis Hamilton do you fancy his chances tonight Yes, sportsman of the <laughs> I year. I can't say anything, but uh, no, he's great, and I met him before, and he's uh, exceptional. So uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, quick word about Berlin. Everyone's excited to be back here. First time since 2016. You were here, of course. I know. I think you have a tapas bar in the city. Yeah. That, um, it's obviously something very special to you, seeing everyone being here in this city that unites. Absolutely. And it's funny that you mentioned my tapas bar because I watch all the Barcelona matches there. I'm That's a huge. <laughs> Supporter of that football club, oh, so fingers crossed for uh, Messi tonight. Yes. Oh. yes, yes, yes. A ver, a ver, a ver. I only mentioned, <laughs> I only mentioned the tapas bar because I need someone to go later. Is that? Can I? Oh, please go. If I drop please your name, go. can we get in? Oh yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, listen, thanks for chatting to us. Enjoy Pleasure. the evening. All Thank the best. You Bye. Thank, Thank you. Liam, welcome to Berlin. A special night for you. A bit of a different performance to the usual. Aspect. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of lot of familiar faces for me out there tonight, but not for the reasons that they usually are, which is yeah. quite funny. But I mean, you know, what a great night. It's, uh, thank you for having me. It's great to be here. Um, you're just on the red carpet. A few selfies. Who was involved 
with those? Uh, I was in with the Bucks who beat us, um, and that's all I've met so far. But I also saw that Lewis Hamilton's here as well, all right. um, who just had his fashion line out yesterday as well, so he's a busy man. I was going to say, you two know about your fashion. It's uber cool. Did you know that was the theme, by the way? Uber cool? Uber cool? That oh, was, I didn't know that. I was just going, as you can tell. You're pulling it off well. For the normal, but this this took me through. This is this, not yeah, many men pull this off, Liam. This is from Hugo. I think, well, I'm not sure whether it was custom or not, but I, I mean, I do a lot of work with them now because I'm, I'm part of the brand, so okay. I make clothes with them. Same as Lewis does for his brand, actually, with Tommy Hill for going. It's a lot of fun, something different. You do everything, don't you? Um, <laughs> it's about bringing people together through sport tonight. Are you a big sports fan, and what sports do you like? Yeah, I mean, as a kid growing up, I was a uh, runner um, when I was a kid. I did 1,500 metres, um, and I was actually really close to being on the under-18s Olympics team. No, what, really? Yeah, I was the, th I was the third best in the country at one point when What's I was a kid. What's your time for 1,500 metres? Oh, I can't remember. Okay. It was like 4, 434, maybe less than that. I'm not sure. Are you serious? Like yeah, when I was when I was younger, yeah, yeah. Oh. It's and funny because my, my manager goes out with Denise Lewis, his, 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 oh, right. his wife, and, and we trained at the same stadium, which is quite funny. But, I mean, sport brings people together that way. I think that's what tonight's about more than anything. For me, having a son now, you know, I'm hoping the same way my parents pushed me into so many different sports to do all those team-building activities and those things. You know, we talk about mental health a lot these days, and I think these sorts of things are what are important for that. Well said. Good luck tonight. Can't Thank wait you to see much. it. Awesome. Cheers, mate. Thanks Cheers for your time. Boss. Thank you. Here they are, members of the successful, the World Cup winning team, the box. And I've got to, first and foremost, guys, I've got to say how natural you look these days on a red carpet. Because you've done a few since the World Cup, haven't you? Uh, well, there was a couple. I think we're we more comfortable drinking out of a cup than, than actually walking on a red carpet. But it's, it's been good. Have you had a drink yet? Or you? Uh, maybe a couple okay. or ten. Uh, Kalinda, welcome to Berlin. What's it like walking down the red carpet and enjoying the achievements of these guys over the last few months? I'm not used to walking down a red carpet. Um, <laughs> no, but it's been really good. Nice cherry on top um, for our country and for us as a family. Do you have a, a pose? I was asking uh, Sarah Hoy this earlier. Do you practice a pose before the, the cameras? You I just don't. Keep it? That's why I'm looking so <laughs> uncomfortable. No, <I> think. <laughs> take some tips off this man. He loves it. There you go. There it is. Um, Faf, what has the last couple of months uh, been like after success? I mean, there's been so much press. It was more than rugby, really, wasn't it, in the end? No, it's obviously been a bit hectic. Um, I think it helped coming over to England two weeks after the World Cup, um, not getting recognised as much, but um, it's, it's, it's been hectic and, and good as well. It's been uh, really special being a part of it and being part of, part of this group. And yeah, they, like she said, it's just another cherry on top of the cake. So you win the Cup for South Africa, you come back to play your professional rugby in England. How did that go? I'm injured now, so uh, <laughs> uh, no. It's uh, I think Flo and them went out to to hurt me a bit in their game, so um, I think that some of the boys hate me a bit. But uh, it's a love hate relationship, I reckon. Yeah. Um, Francois, it's been an amazing. Like, it's the same question, I suppose. It's been an amazing couple of months. You've now retired from international rugby. What a way to go out on a high! Absolutely. Uh, couldn't really have asked for more of a fairy tale in terms of my career. Uh, you know, to play in that final game, to get a victory, especially over a fantastic nation like England. Uh, which is where I apply my trade. Uh, as Fuff was saying, I think it was a little bit more harsh uh, upon our return uh, than he makes out. Uh, but nonetheless, you know, we've got fantastic mates uh, within the English setup. So, uh, you know, uh, all, things, all things said, uh, a good environment nonetheless. You're looking good tonight, boys. I like uh, the get-up. Are your legs too big that your socks are showing, or is that like 
What's that all about? Lovely. Well, look, they they they, they did put the theme out as uber, as uber cool. Yeah. Uh, so I went for the slightly shorter trousers, yeah. uh, <laughs> funky socks, yellow uh, sneakers, uh, and skins. I'll let you decide. Look, professional <laughs> sportsman's always recovering. <laughs> he didn't get the invitation, did he? <laughs> Thanks, guys. Have a great night. Yeah, thank, thank you. Kevin. World Cup winner and captain Sir Khaleesi. First of all, you're on your own because everyone wants to talk to you on the red carpet. How mad has the last few months been? Um, yeah, it's it's been amazing. It's been amazing but tough at the same time. Uh, but it's been great to see how positive we've been about sport and 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 just South Africa in general because that's a that's all that people are talking about. And, and to see the joy in, in the kids' faces back at home, that's I think what exactly what we wanted to achieve and we're hoping that it doesn't end here it just carries on going i'm sure it will do uh, nominated for team of the year mm. this evening mm. maybe another award on the horizon yeah <laughs> we'll see we're up against amazing teams you know uh it's gonna be tough but um, i'm hoping we can pull this one through it's lovely to see you here i know that uh, you're not playing at the moment you're you're injured you're unbeaten from the stormers point of view so far this season uh, in terms of moving on now from that world cup i suppose that's going to be the biggest challenge for yeah. this team isn't it no actually I, I don't think it's a challenge i think it's something to look toward, uh, forward to um we know there's so much more that can be achieved we didn't I mean, that's a great achievement, but we, we, we've got to maintain that and make sure that we've been consistent, and that's what we're going to achieve as a team, you know. So um, I'm going to work as hard as I can to, to, to get back on the field and try and make the Springbok team again, and then hopefully we, we just keep on winning and maintaining the, the level that we put ourselves in now. Laurier started 20 years ago. Yeah. Nelson Mandela's words started it all off. I know he's a hero of yours, so yeah. I suppose it's quite apt that you're here this evening potentially picking up team of the year as well. Yeah, it's crazy. I mean, he's, for all of us as a team, he's huge, and to a lot of people around the world as well. And, and to be here on the, on, the, on the 20th year is really special. And yeah, we really hope that we can take that on home. It'll be, you know, people at home always say the Mandela spirit is, is, is always around, and I'm hoping tonight is, is one of those nights. Good luck. Lovely to see you. Thanks Thank for you. Chatting. Cheers, man. Cheers. So do I look like they're just gone? Yeah, okay. Yeah. The program is a real success story. Is it coming off the back of them?
Sean, you've been here since the start. Um, first of all, how's this weekend been? Uh, it's been brilliant, actually. It's nice to be back in Berlin. We've had the awards here before. We had a forum here a few years ago. Um, but the, uh, the uh, Germans have been wonderful. Uh, I was going to say Japanese. Yeah, that'd have been <laughs> the something. Japanese have been yeah, good too. Been, yeah, always are. You probably think of the World Cup. We'll come to that in a second. Um, I suppose uh, you mentioned to me yesterday, actually, how nice it was to be in amongst other sporting icons mm. and heroes. But you did have moments where you were just chatting and finding yourself sort of reminiscing about sports you didn't even know you liked. Yeah, it's, and that's the, the nice thing about the group. You know, I had lunch with Lewis Figo today, and, and he, he was wanting to know more about rugby. Um, and then, next, next, then Missy Franklin was there, and she wanted to know, you know, what we ate, what we drank. Um, and then I didn't realise that swimmers, believe it or not, don't do any running at all. They, they struggle to run, don't they? Is that they, right? they don't like yeah. running. She, yeah. she absolutely couldn't stand it. Backstroke as well. Yeah. She probably runs. So back all that, and yeah. we, had a, we had Mike Horn speak to us the other yeah. night yeah. To, at our academy dinner. And we all came away, and Sergei Butker was like, wow, that's unbelievable. But we've all got such great stories, which we need to, we need to tell. It's, it's amazing. I think everyone's loving it. Hugh Grant was asking Chris Hoy for a selfie. Um, <laughs> Vladimir Klitschko is sort of starstruck by all the sporting talent around here. But I suppose you're the perfect person to speak to about the fact that this is an important message. We are here for one big reason, and that's uniting sport yeah. and empowering people around yeah, the world. Yeah. And that's, a, that's the wonderful thing about all of us that are, that are here. There's sort of 39 academy members here, um, and they're here for one reason, uh, because of the Sport for Good movement. You know, tonight's a celebration, tonight's our party of the year, um, but ultimately it's about the Sport for Good Foundation. And, you know, 20 years on, 2001 we had our first project uh, for MISA, uh, which we still support, and we've got 199 other projects. Uh, so we're very proud of that, you know, six million children, we've sort of had an effect on their lives over the last 20 years, um, which mean, means so much. And you'll see tonight, you know, the Sport for Good winner, um, you know, South City Bronx, which was announced yesterday, uh, United. Yeah. And uh, so we're really, really proud of, of that part of, of what Loris has achieved. And you do a brilliant job with it. Just You are so on brand, by the way, that you basically match in the microphone look at you everything Watch. everything is everything glorious. everything perfect yeah. what an ambassador and well, academy you, i must say you do look very smart too i've just gone normal haven't i yeah you have actually yeah. enjoy the night <laughs> see One of the special awards this year is Sport for Good, and the program that's won it this year is a massive success story. My name is Mohammed. I'm 17 years old. I'm Maria. I'm 18 years old. I'm part of South Bronx United. And I'm a midfielder at the boys' U19 team of South Bronx United. Life in the Bronx is really tough. There's a lot of racism. If you look different, we don't like you. There's a high violence rate, you know, there's crime, gang activities, people get shot. The South Bronx, where we are, has the highest poverty rate in the nation. So we have a very diverse population, people that are new to the country. Coming to the United States with no friends. Yeah, everything was like a battle. It was sad. I will cry sometimes. We're both part of South Bronx United, and I think that makes us closer. I think SVU completes most of me. Uh, the mission of South Bronx United is to use soccer as a tool for social change, to provide a comprehensive set of services and educational support to make sure youth are able to improve their own lives and the lives of their families. My teammates are my family. I would say it's a brotherhood for sure. Every skill we teach kids on the field in soccer can be related to life skills. I am very, very thankful for what SVU has done for me. We're building who they're going to be in their adult life. We make college access and college success something that everyone could gain. It'll help me get my grades up, help my father get his citizenship. Uh, at South Bronx United, we have a 100% high school graduation rate in the past seven years. The opportunity to not just graduate high school, 
but go off to college is something that is bigger than themselves. I think what we do at South by Side is very unique, that we are able to provide a range of different services, all for the young people here. My name is Mohammed. I'm Maria. And we're all part of South Bronx United. Edwin, you are such a good Loris uh, Academy member. I know you've done lots of different things with them over the years. Can you give us an idea of um, your experience of how sport empowers others around the world? Well, I think I've been the only, maybe one or two, I think there might be one other Academy member who's been to each of the 20 editions, and I've been to a lot of project visits. I was the uh, founding chairman and chairman of the first 16 years, so I've had a chance to see everything and do everything. I just think it's fantastic that we've, um, we're as healthy as we are, and in the space of philanthropy and sport for development, we're one of the leaders, and people know that we uh, lead in terms of research and uh, proving that our mission works and so forth, so that's, that's the best day. Um, and why did you get involved with it in the first place? Because it would have been in its infancy back then. You must have seen a real potential to help through sports. Um, other than being a, a super world-class athlete and everything, I was uh, basically drafted by the academy at, uh, at the first year, and no one knew where we were going to go. We basically just had an idea. We didn't know. We had no structure. We had two donations of 500000 from Mercedes and Richmond, and the idea to, uh, as, as Mr. Mandela said, use sport as a tool for social change, and that was the start. Sean Fitzpatrick was saying how lovely it's been this weekend to sort of mingle with other people in different sporting circles. You must enjoy doing the same thing when you come to these events. I do. It's uh, really a family affair. Some of us, I mean, there's been dozens of babies that have been born uh, from the Academy members, uh, from some of the daughters and sons of the Academy members, from people in Loria. So, you know, it's a real family. When you come back year after year after year and see everybody, it really means something special. It's the next 20 years. Yeah. Thank you. Enjoy. All right. Thank you. Thanks for your time. Thanks. Okay. Zoe seemed, seemed happy. She said in my ear she was happy. Yeah. Yeah. Bryn, can I just grab my cab? Just one of those now. So you, we're doing chats with people, so we're going to yeah, back Thanks. One, one down. One down. Not many to go. No, just a couple. Okay, Daniel. Seeing Messi and Hamilton then, or what are we doing? How are we playing that? When's it going to go out? When's it going to go out, this? Because I was meant to be talking to him about... Yeah. So are we going to pretend, or are we just going to... Hi. Well, I'm pleased to say I'm here with Daniel Brawl. Welcome back. Hi, thank you. To the Laureus World Sports Awards. Uh, what have you made of Berlin 2020 so far? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm from here. I'm happy that we are hosting the uh, Laureus Awards again in Berlin. I have the fondest memories of... Two world-class athletes have found their way over to us here on the red carpet. Thank you for stopping by. Initially, I was just going to ask Jess for a chat, but then, MJ, you were hovering, so we thought you'd get, <laughs> get involved as well. Is that all right? Jess feels more comfortable when she has me by her side. Greatness. You know, I yeah, do, I do. He's right. <laughs> <laughs> I get that feeling too. It's really weird. Um, nice being in Berlin for Laureus. Yeah, it's amazing. The last time I was here in Berlin was in 2009 when I won my first world title. So I haven't been back since. So it's really, really right. special it's been to a be while back. Then. Yeah, really yeah. special. Um, and what about you, Michael? Berlin, does it bring back nice memories for you? 
Yeah, I remember I remember uh, the 2009 World Championships. I remember seeing Jess do her thing, and of course Usain and uh, Berlino. I remember the, yeah, remember, I remember remember the, the mascot? Yeah, he yeah. was hilarious. He was the best mascot ever. He was the ever. best mascot yeah. of any he world champion. Oh, if ever you remember the mascot. <laughs> I know, he was, he was legendary. Because he was that impactful. Yeah. Yeah. Why, why was he so good? Why? What makes he, such a good mascot? Didn't he drop someone as well that year? Or was that another year? He did, year? it was a hurdler. And then yeah. he got on and drove the golf cart, and, yeah. and, and it was just, it was, it was <laughs> insane. It was a good year. You Google that. Yeah. I don't know where these conversations are going to go, but I was not expecting that. One. Um, athletics, obviously prominent tonight. Can you have a, a quick word on, on two women who are up for awards this evening who've come back after giving birth? You know what that's like and how difficult it is to get to the back to the top level again. Yeah, it is incredibly difficult. And I'm so proud and excited that Shelly Ann Fraser and Alison Felix are both up for this award because, you know, I truly understand how challenging it is and just the hard work and the dedication, the sacrifices that you make and, and how incredible it is as well when you do it. So yeah, I'm so excited to see more sports women stepping away, starting their family and coming back to be incredible athletes again. So it's really exciting. They are very inspirational and uh, they lead the path for others. I know you have your own academy, Michael. I know that I think you're adding education to that program as well. There's real synergy with Laureus. And this weekend, the theme is Sport Unites Us. How powerful is sport for people around the world? It's incredibly powerful, and I think that you know over the 20 years, if you look at the programs that we've been able to support through the Sport for Good uh, Foundation, I mean, it's just a, a, a great example of all of the different sort of barriers that we've been able to break down, the people we've been able to bring together, the social barriers we've broken down um, using sport, where people just tend to forget about all of those things and just you know enjoy the sport. So um, I think that. Those are real testaments to the fact that sport does unite us. So fun. I was listening to your answer whilst watching Edwin Moses have a, a selfie with the statue behind you there. It was quite <laughs> off-putting. Uh, Jess, lovely to see you, and thank you so much for bringing your plus one this thank evening. Thank you. I'm I both you have a, a lovely evening. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Now, Messi, who, you know, plays for the wonderful team. Yeah, and indeed oh. you will have uh, presented the award to Lewis... Ha uh, <laughs> ah, sorry. No, I'm uh, Normally no. Normally it's always me. gone out afterwards, so we know. <laughs> oh, shit, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Normally it's always me. Do we do it again? Do you mind doing it again? I'm sorry. <laughs> ah, I was doing so well. We're going to do it from the top. From the top? Sorry. <laughs> It's great because I have uh, the fondest memories of uh, last time I attended the Laurie's Awards uh, in Berlin 2016 when I had the honor to um, award Niki Lauda with a lifetime um, achievement, uh, which was a very moving uh, moment. And um, so it's nice to be back. How do you reflect now on your time with Niki Lauda uh, and your role in Russia? <laughs> no, you can't, don't worry. Okay. In three, two, well, I'm pleased to say I'm joined by Daniel Brawl. Welcome. It was, it was intense. It was great. Um, and it was a nice finish uh, of, of our, you know, experience with that film together that I, you know, could give him this lifetime uh, award here in, at Berlin because it was the end of the whole journey of promoting the film. It was first time uh, abroad in Atlanta and in Budapest last year. That I was yeah. like, so it's good to be, yeah, good to be here. Marvel, I did a Marvel ah, mission. Okay, mm. Because I, I normally work for CNN, which is based in Atlanta. Ah, so uh, yeah, yeah. I spent a fair amount yeah. of time there as well. Amanda, we might steal some of you. Thank you so much. Pleasure. Enjoy right. the rest of your Thank evening. You, Thank you. And we might steal them on Amanda as well. I believe. I believe. Just I believe I can fly. Yeah. Yeah. jacket. Do you? Model Zone, or did someone make this for you? I mean, uh, you I, there there were a number of outfits on the table, should we say. Okay, I see, I see. Um, my home resembles something of a net a room at the moment. <laughs> uh, yeah. that one. So Very I'm hoping nice. I'll become really wealthy uh, when I get home and I can send it all. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey! <laughs> <laughs> you got a bit of velvet, a bit of sequins, yeah, I love it. We're nice. ticking the boxes. Not barely seen him actually, I have to say. Okay. So, um, but I think he's doing okay. Okay, it's just arrived. Or... Um, Oksana, it's so lovely to see you. First and foremost, is it weird wearing trainers or sneakers, as you call them, with uh, the gown, with the dress? 
No, I feel, oh my gosh, I'm so happy that finally for the first time the athleisure look is in. I live my life with prosthetics nice. and sneakers. I don't know why I chose white because no, I'm a klutz and well, I'm, I'm giving them two hours before they're brown. Okay, yeah, I know. Yeah, it's what we call uh, box fresh, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. Oh my God, I love these. You guys. got no chance getting those home in the same color as they came out in. No, not at all. And you don't care. It's a good challenge and I like a challenge, so I'll try. Are you excited to be here tonight amongst sporting superstars? Oh my gosh, I am so excited. I'm literally shaking inside my legs. <laughs> yeah, you're nominated tonight. I am nominated. Well. Well, what does that mean to you? I know because you have been through one heck of a journey. What's it like to be recognized at, at this level? Oh my gosh, so many people have asked me that and I'm just like speechless every time because I'm just somebody who's very indecisive in what sports she wants to do. I just love sports. It's because she's so good at all of them. No, I just don't know when to stop or just can't make up my mind, but I just love sports. For me, it, it all started as therapy and to like accept myself and to heal through some things that I didn't know why, what was triggering certain things. and. It gave me a sense of empowering for myself and loving what I saw in the mirror reflecting back. And it's something I struggled with for such a long time. So that's why it's just insane to like be here and be like, oh my God, I'm being recognized for this when I'm just doing it because I love it. You are brilliant. And I, I believe you've brought a very special plus one with you. Yes, this is my mom. Hello, She's mom. Hi, how oh, are you? Pleasure to meet you. Pleasure you look you. beautiful. If Thank I'm you so much. She did my makeup. <laughs> You got the, uh, it's the Uber. Look at her shoes. Thing. She's got the, what yeah. You, oh, wow. These are so yeah. my mom. 2020 is a big year, not just for Tokyo, yeah. but because it's finally. I'm, I'm retiring from the university. Oh, my goodness. So they say 2020 on them. And, what are you yeah. going to do with yourself now? You. <laughs> I'll be able to follow her more often. You're like number one fan. Well, you already are number one. I am her number one I mean, fan. I, it's, it's such a ridiculous question after everything you've been through, but how proud are you of Oh, this there aren't lady? words to say how proud I am, and I'm just so excited to be able to be here to see that people love her yeah. and, and admire her talent, so that's great. What happens tonight if she wins? How do you react to that? Are you quite um, good with your I'll emotions? probably have a heart attack and die, <laughs> but you know. Hey, don't do that. That's I'll yeah, please don't do that. just cry then. <laughs> um, you've had an amazing 2019. I think it's five gold medals of silver, World Cup title. You win medals on the bike as well, and sometimes when you row if you want to. Um, you've obviously got Tokyo next. What's the ambition for you? What can um, you achieve? What can I? I think yeah. anybody, everybody in this room has proven that the sky is the limit. And if you set your mind to it through hard work, you can achieve anything. And there is nothing that is crazy or too big. Yeah. So who knows? I don't know. I yeah. just live in one day at a time and just take in one day at a time and soaking in this experience around incredible legends. <laughs> yeah. Like, this is insane. I don't belong here. Like, what? You do belong here, and good luck tonight. You've got a cracking test. Pleasure to meet both of you. It's a pleasure to meet you. And I hope your trainers are as clean yes. at the end we'll, as they are we'll the We'll connect again afterwards and see. <laughs> see. Oh, okay. Thank you. Do you remember how many times she steps on my feet? <laughs> yeah, I do. Great to meet you. Thank you. Thank you. Send out snippets each time something happens in sport, just to make sure that the academy is up to speed in terms of world sport, what's going on. Uh, we then ring each other, email each other in different categories that we don't know some people. Uh, Naja, you look beautiful. You are Thank so you. sparkly. The first time I decided to go with pins. Oh, what really? do you think? Yeah. The jumpsuit. Why did you go uh, jumpsuit? With the jumpsuit? Um, uh, I may turn a cartwheel later. Oh, really? Do you tend to do that on a night out? On occasion, yeah. But a little yourself. later, not okay. now. Yeah. After a few drinks. <laughs> yeah. You like the, the silhouette behind you, can you? Like the uh, statuette there. Look. Yeah. yeah I can do that. Yeah. Um, how has Berlin been? You've been here all weekend? Uh, I've maybe? been here for four days, but I was here in December where we did the announcement for uh, the awards yeah. with Katarina. And uh, I've been here for a few other times, but uh, just uh, busy with a lot of uh, projects and media and, uh, you know, all those things. Why are you so passionate about Loris and about what it does? Uh, because there was a great idea when we all started this and I was one of the beginners. We were nine of us. And I didn't think that anything can go wrong when you use sport as a tool to uh, help children who don't have a lot of opportunities. And uh, I had no idea how far we will go, but uh, the inspiration from Nelson Mandela and being there on stage, it was like we're only going forward. <laughs> That must have been an amazing moment. Yeah, it was an amazing moment. And then we had um, a private meeting only uh, with uh, Nelson Mandela, just wow. a few Academy members. Yeah. Incredible. Um, you paved the way 
the first perfect score. There's a lady that's doing that regularly. Her name is Simone Biles. She's up for a... I'm familiar with that name. You might, do you know her? You might do, yeah. yeah. I think she's won it a couple of times. She's up for a winner tonight. Quick word on her. How good is she? Uh, very special. I mean, she is one of a kind. You know, once in a while in sports, you have uh, somebody who's uh, dominating the sport, and uh, that's her. And uh, I think that um, I can tell you now, without a doubt that she, there's nobody else who can beat her at the Olympics. So that's a clear win. Love that. We'll take it. We believe you. Okay. Uh, thank you for your time. Enjoy your night. And I can't wait you to too. see the cartwheel later. Uh, yeah. And All you'll right. do a handstand no, later. No, never okay? going to happen. Okay. Not going to happen. Never going to happen. Never know. Tonight. Um, but ultimately, tonight is about this little thing. And uh, celebrating sport. Absolutely. So with that, let's get cracking. Back to you, Hugh. Perfect. Superstar. Okay. Thank you. One take wonder. Love Thank it. You. We'll see you, Thank you. I'll be here. The night. You know where to find me. Oh, this is where you're here, you're here all night. <laughs> Why are you not going out? I'm here all night. <laughs> no, I will. I do head out. <laughs>
what is a better life. You know, and, and those real stories that resonate with 60% of our population, you know, real tangible, authentic, emotional stories that people can relate to. And those stories of hope, of what can be achieved if you put your differences aside, dream extremely big, but willing to work extremely hard. Yeah, I'm not going to be biased, nope. but <laughs> yeah. I wasn't an academy member before this. If I was, I definitely would have voted for the box. <laughs> it's great to see you, Brian. Um, yes. Good luck tonight. You have time. Have Don't mess brilliant. it up, yeah? Thank you very much, champion. All the best. <laughs> Something else going on this evening, but right now we're going to take you to Italy. Don't tell my wife. Amore, that's amore. When you walk down the street with the cloud on your feet. Oh my God, I am in love. When you walk in a dream, and I know I'm not dreaming. Then you. Uh, Missy, lovely to see you on the red carpet with your absolutely beautiful, handsome plus one. Can you introduce us to him? My husband. Oh my goodness. Our, it's our first glorious as husband and wife. That is, is very true. Yes. yes. Really? Yes. Yes. Like the last yes. time we did Engaged. anything like this was the aisle. Yes. Of the, the <laughs> it was actually, we modeled it after the glorious red did carpet. You? So it looked exactly like this. That's really weird. Yes. <laughs> We're really passionate about the foundation. Um, well, you are. And, uh, do you know what? I was passionate about um, knowing what footwear you were going to go. We talked about this yep. over the weekend. Yep. You've, got, you've gone for a, like a practical. I, I did. Kind of so these are Rothy's. Okay. I'm obsessed with them because they're made out of recycled water bottles. Love that. So they are the comfiest things in the world and they're machine washable. Oh, my god. So goodness. after a long night, if you need to wash them, freshen them up a little bit, throw them in the wash, leave them out to dry. Good idea. And what's your excuse? <laughs> well. I went with the Kobe Bryant yeah. Mambas. Fair, yeah. Of and some tribute. Yeah. Man, you are on fire, you two, tonight with your tributes and everything else. I know that, you know, I think you were Sportswoman of the Year in 2014. You've had an association with uh, Loris for a long time. This is a foundation that's very important to you, isn't it? Why? For so many reasons. I think sport means so much to all of us, but more importantly, it's what sport does and what it has the power to do. And as Nelson Mandela so famously said, it has the power to change the world. And Laureus took that to heart, and it's doing that. It's helped over six million children in its 20 years, which is so incredible. And to be even a small cog in this machine, it is such an incredible honor. There are some superstars up for nominations this evening. Can you give us, your, in your chat on the way here today, who are you? Like and who you think is going to well, win? Well, we're always uh, a little, a little biased. <laughs> we, we, okay. A little biased. We love the swimmers, of okay. course. Regan Smith is up for Breakout Performer of the Year, so Regan, she Regan. she broke my world record last yes. summer. Yeah, and you still and, think this is a, uh, of course. You stood for a long time, actually. Yeah, in swimming terms, I think about you? seven well, years. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, and I just I couldn't have asked for it to be broken by anyone else. I mean, she's so wonderful. She's so down to earth. But this was my first year as a member getting to vote, and it was one of the hardest things. I was sitting at my computer yeah. just agonizing, but my only solace was knowing that no matter what, it was going to someone who deserved it. That's well said. Listen, have a great night tonight. Thank you. Sir. Thanks for joining us. And I uh, look forward to seeing you tomorrow morning with very, very clean shoes on because you wash them overnight. Exactly. And then I can travel in them tomorrow. So <laughs> See you at the airport at 6 a.m. <laughs> we'll be there. Thank you very much. Yeah, you bet. I don't know what the end was. Chris, thanks for joining us. First and foremost, you, you look absolutely outstanding. Thank you. Uber cool, that's the theme. You've gone with the trainers. And actually, you've topped it off with the 20th anniversary watch. And I suppose you had to wear it. Yeah, in, absolutely. I in mean, the it's boss a, of IWC. Yes, it's the 14th uh, Laurier Sport for Good Foundation issue we've made. Uh, we started all the way back in 2006. And it's always an annual drawing competition. And then the winner gets featured engraved on the watch and obviously supports the project for Loris. I've seen a few of them around. They're absolutely beautiful. Um, What's this like for you, being in Berlin for these awards, surrounded by these super sports stars? Oh, it's amazing. And, and how important is it for you? Because IWC worked closely with Laureus 
uh, over the years. Yeah. How important is that partnership? Yeah, it's very important to us and also a lot of the Laureus ambassadors are our ambassadors as well. So there's a huge crossover. We have a lot of clients who are into sports and uh, we bring them here every year. Berlin this time is amazing. I, I grew up in Germany and for me to be here at the Brandenburg Gate where unites us really is at home. You know, it's really, really a very strong symbolic significance here. It's, it's, it's a great vibe tonight. Um, what kind of sports do you like? What are you into? While I'm into all my endurance sports, I do biking, I do skiing, cross-country right. skiing, downhill skiing, running, mountain running, that sort of thing. Well represented tonight, of course, amongst the nominees too. We shall see yeah. who wins what. Thank you for your time this evening. Thank you very much. Enjoy Thank the you. evening. Thank, Thank you, you Chris. The theme was silver and cool. Yeah, yeah. I feel I heard there it was is cool. It is? No, 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 no time. <laughs> that is cool. Apparently, there was a big conversation amongst everyone last night about what the theme was, and everyone's yes, on the panic. Nobody understood really what the theme was. Okay. But it's cool. I know the sneakers. Yeah, you got that right. That's cool, and no time. <laughs> How has Berlin been? What have you been up to this weekend? Uh, not so much. I came yesterday and then I went from the hotel uh, uh, for four hours for interviews. Okay. Lots of interviews. A lot of interviews. There's a lot of that, but they're important interviews. And yes. I know uh, you take your work very seriously with Laureus and yes. the important work it does. Look, they do good, you know, it's, we are here to give something back to the world. Uh, I'm here to give credit to all these athletes who work so hard who maybe doesn't get the attention that we always get as a football player. And the, the theme also uh, is Sports United, and that is true. Yeah. Uh, Lionel Messi is up for Best Sportsman of the Year this year. Is he the best footballer in the world? He is one of the best footballers <laughs> in the world. Uh, I don't think he had a season that you can say, OK, you know, I think that... You know, you would need to win something like a Champions League or a World Cup or a European Cup in order to... And he, it didn't okay. happen. Not quite. He ha it was a surprise for me also that he won the Ballon d'Or. It was a surprise. I think he's one of the best players. I think from the footballers he had the best season. But if he, is he the best athlete? From my opinion, no. OK, fair enough. Uh, Liverpool, team of the year, they're nominated tonight. Are they going to win the league? That's an easier question. Yes, they're going to win the okay, league. Okay, there you go. Um, they have the best chance of winning the Champions League again. Mm -hmm. That would be unbelievable. They are in a rhythm that is unbelievable. Uh, team of the year, South Africa. Yeah, okay. Uh, then you have the women's teams also of uh, America. Yeah. Won the World Cup. Yeah. You're sitting on the fence there, not answering the question. No. But well, we don't mind. That's fine. No, because, you know, if you ask to me, then I would take Tiger Woods... We're holding hands now. Yeah, it's Tiger got, Woods. It's got weird. Player athlete of the year. Tiger Woods, okay. We'll see if you're right. Thanks for your time. Thanks. Thanks for looking uber you're cool. Welcome. Thanks for it. <laughs> <laughs> Two absolute legends join us on the red carpet. It's lovely to see you both. Uber cool, loving that. Look at that suit. What do you think of Boris's suit? Thank you. Well, uh, you know, if he faced me if I was playing tennis, which I don't, it's kind of like blurry, so I wouldn't hit yeah. the ball back very well. Blurred lines, isn't Blurred it? Blurred lines. It looks quite warm, that, actually. Yeah. Right. No, it's winter time. It's February. It's okay, you know? it? so you I think wanna, he's got you want to dress warm. Totally, yeah. totally in style. Okay. Uh, how's the weekend been in Berlin, catching up with everyone? It's been great. Of course, um, we've been old friends for years. I think it's great what Laureus does and how we affect the lives of so many young men and women and boys and girls around the world. And to say that we would have thought that 20 years later we're so much larger than we'd ever imagined is, is an understatement. And we're, I think we're both proud and all the Academy members are very proud of where we've been able to accomplish over the last 20 years. And actually you said something really lovely yesterday, you said it's been 20 years, let's hope for another 20 years. Based on tonight and its popularity, it looks like it's going from strength to strength. Well, sport is a very powerful uh, communication tool. Maybe with music the most powerful, we're not political, we're not religious, um, we don't see colour, we don't see gender, it's just sports. And I think that's the power, that's the language, and uh, you know, kids all around the world understand that language. And then we're happy to raise a lot of money, a lot of awareness, 
uh, uh, over the last 20 years and who would have thought when Mr. Nelson Mandela walked in that room in Monaco 20 years ago that we're here. And obviously he's our mentor in a way. Uh, uh, the famous speech he's done uh, is our red line and uh, hopefully we'll make him proud. I'm sure you will. Thank you for joining us this evening and have a wonderful night. Thank you. We Thank will. You. Thank you. Ola, lovely to see you on the red carpet. Um, how did you get here today? How did you arrive? Well, it's great to be here. I arrived in the all-electric EQC, a new SUV that we have launched, so quiet and emission-free. Did Lewis Hamilton drive you here? No, we actually rode this time, but I'm sure it would have been a lot more fun if he would have been behind the it would wheel, have been actually. a bit quicker, maybe. That's yeah. true. Uh, tell us about how the partnership works that you have with Lewis, because it's ongoing and very successful. We're one of the founding partners of Loreas. Mercedes-Benz has been there from the word go, and I can't believe it's been 20 years. It's unbelievable. And as Nelson Mandela once said, sports has the power to change the world, and that's what the Loreas Foundation, the Sports for Good Foundation, does. It really helps children and perhaps change the world. Uh, and actually, there are a lot of inspirational people around here tonight and the nominees too. Who are you excited about seeing? What sports do you like? Uh, who Can you give us a few tips of who you might think win tonight? Well, there are so many sports legends here today. It's, it's yeah. really difficult to pick. But if I, if I look into the field yeah. that are... You can't be not, biased. You that are not, biased. I mean, it's, I'm, I'm a huge motorsports fan, so I have to say oh, Lewis okay. Hamilton with yeah, his yeah. six titles. Yeah. But I also love Tiger Woods' comeback last year. That was fantastic with the Masters. And on the team side, there can only be one right, FC Liverpool. <laughs> I wonder what you're going to say there, but I liked it. We'll see if you're right. Thank you for your time. Thank and you. Thank you. Continue partnership. Thank, thank you very you. much. Cheers. It's the 20th anniversary of yes. Loris. We're in Berlin because of you. Because of me. Because of you. You that were there sounds good. last year yes. when you launched it. Yes. And here we are, 12 months yeah. has gone by. Yeah, that's true. How are you yes. finding it? I think it's fantastic. And I think they did such a fantastic setup here. I like it so much. It reminds us a little bit to the Berlin Wall. I think it's fantastic. They painted the, the I wanted to say the skaters, the athletes up here. That's okay. No, there are no skaters. That's what they would call themselves. <laughs> They've been here early, actually. Sky and rest. They're amazing. Yeah, no, it's great. It's great. And uh, I'm, I'm very happy that we celebrate the 20th anniversary or yeah. the 20th anniversary here in Berlin. Yes. Um, you've had a busy weekend. We yes. all came to watch you do your yeah. project on Saturday. Yeah. Yeah. And you said to me it was the first time you've been on I know. ice. Yes. So we have yeah. something in common. But anyway, yeah. um, how, how, were you? how was it being back on the ice? Yeah, believe it or not, I haven't been on the ice for almost 10 years. And I always wanted to. And then I was like, ah. Oh. But yeah, I had no choice. You know, I wanted to introduce the kick on ice project to all our academy members so i couldn't come just with um, sneakers um, so i figured i'll put my skates on it was a little wobbly the first 10 minutes no, it, wasn't. <laughs> it was wobbly, wobbly. To you everyone else was like wow look at her <laughs> and then i must say i had a smile on my face and i know i put my skates away not so far anymore oh. i want to go skating and i had such a fun time having fronts on the ice and some of the other members and i thought they were so fun you were on the ice as the ice. well yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah, it was fun. Boots. Did you? Can we just talk about Brian Habana and his yes, ability yes. to skate? Yes. No, that was incredible. He was he was like a puma. <laughs> he was straight running the, fast straight yeah. through the boards. <laughs> yeah. I think they, they're very talented in their own sports. Aren't yes. They? Yeah. No, but he did such a great job. No, absolutely. I, I felt a little bad because he really it was difficult for him to stop, so he ended in the boards. But luckily, it didn't break anything. And I think they were blown away by that program as well. The fact Yes. Goes on is the most yes. Important. Yes. No. I am proud of that. It's been going on since 2003. I'm the patron of it, or the godmother. I feel like the godmother, and I've been visiting once a while, and um, they're taking such a great uh, development. Those kids, you know, some of them were very. In an early age, I got to meet them, and now they have become coaches. They've been uh, they've been um, idols now to another generation by teaching them about values in life, and I think it's something fantastic what we're all doing for the Sport for Good Foundation, that we have more than 200 projects in more than 40 countries. I think this is something we all should be very proud of. Keep up the brilliant work. Have a great night. Thank, Thank you. you. And you too. See ya. <laughs> We 
are just a few minutes away from the 20th Laureus World Sports Awards. All the stars have made their way into the Verti Music Hall. I'll be talking you through the awards from here, but I'm glad to say that you have someone on the inside. Amanda Davis will be catching up with all the winners, the nominees, and quite frankly, anyone else you can get a hands on throughout the evening. Let's see what it's like in there right now. Amanda. Hi, I'm Amanda Davis and I'll be live here backstage throughout this evening chatting to the winners as they come off stage with their trophies in hand and also finding out a little bit more from some of the Laureus Academy members. Uh, it is all live, all the backstage news online via our social channels at Laureus Sport and don't worry, it's not either or, it's running alongside the main show so please do get involved two for the price of one if you will this is the berlin wall four generations that divided the city a country and in fact the whole world i grew up on the other side of this wall and when it came down 30 years ago it united us all 